Hello, today is February 16, 2020, and today we're going to fly IFR from Tacoma Narrows Airport over to Olympia Regional Airport. We filed an IFR flight plan with Pilot Edge, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up for flight just to show you what we have planned for today. So here's the approach plate superimposed over the IFR low altitude chart. So this is us right here at Tacoma Narrows. We are synced to X-Plane. So it's going to show our location throughout the flight. We're planning on doing the Narrows 1 departure, which calls for climb to 1,500, then climbing right turn on heading 250 to 2,000, unless we're, unless we're cleared to a different altitude. That's what we're planning on. So I made those notes on the approach plate. And then we're planning on, uh, we the way we filed is we filed the Hume intersection and then Olympia Airport. We're going to request vectors for the localizer runway 17 approach, which is depicted right here localizer runway 17 approach so we're hoping to get vectored in uh, a little earlier instead of having to go to home intersection we should be vectored in somewhere around here hopefully and then we're going to be tuned to the localizer which the frequency is depicted right here 111.9 we're going to intercept the localizer and then we're going to fly that down to the runway according to this right here so straight in for localizer 17 the minimum descent altitude is 680 feet. You have to have at least a half mile visibility. Now we're using real world weather today, which is VFR conditions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our view from this to this once we're in the air. Okay, so for now we're gonna need this to take off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna descend on the localizer to 2,400 feet at the OPU intersection, which is the initial approach fix. And then we're gonna continue our descent from that point down to 680 feet and then we're going to maintain that until we reach the missed approach point and in uh, real world or actually in real in weather that's IFR I should say or IMC if we're, we're unable to see the airport environment where we could make a safe landing we would execute a missed approach we're going to simulate that today and then we're going to fly the missed approach according to the published procedure here which is straight out to 1400 and then maintain the 176 radial off the Olympia VOR to 5,500, and then we're going to go to the Cetra intersection, and then we're going to hold. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So here in this view, it shows the missed approach fix, which is the Cetra intersection, which is not a nav aid. Uh, it's rather an intersection of two different radials, the 086 radial off the Hoquiam VOR, and the 176 radial off the Olympia VOR. Now this airplane doesn't have two VORs, it only has one, so we're going to be relying for the purposes of that intersection on our GPS here. I already have the flight plan programmed into that. We're also going to be able to define that intersection using four flight, which we will be using throughout the flight. So this is going to call for, since we're heading in this direction, uh, it's going to call for a parallel entry because we're going to be, we want to be established on right turns and using the Cetra intersection as our fix. So upon reaching the Cetra intersection, we're gonna begin our timer for one minute on this leg, which is the 176 radial. Then we're gonna execute a procedure turn to the left to stay on the protected side of the hold. And then we're gonna to turn to intercept the 356 radial inbound. And then upon reaching the fix, we're gonna execute a standard rate turn to the right and then uh, roll out on heading 176 and time it for one minute. So that's my fuel timer. I'm going to go ahead and start that again. And we're going to switch tanks. So we've been on this tank for 30 minutes already. Okay, let's bring this back up. Okay, so that's the plan. And then upon probably two circuits um, in the hold, the holding pattern, we're then going to request vectors for the ILS runway 17 approach here at Tacoma Narrows. So we're going to switch plates and get vectored over there and then shoot that approach in for a landing. So it's a fairly long flight, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, the key here is to stay ahead of the airplane, tune frequencies in advance, so you don't find yourself having to scramble while trying to control the airplane. Okay, so as I said, we filed the flight plan in 
Pilot Edge. Let's give you a quick look at that. So here it is. Uh, we are filed with a slant golf equipment, which indicates that we have GPS capability, KTIW to KOLM. Narrows one departure, boom intersection. Altitude found is 4,000. Uh, planning on a true airspeed of 100 knots. And then I put remarks in here that we're planning the localizer when we one seven approach. Again, that's just a remark um, to the controller so that they know what to expect from us. And route time is 55 minutes, and that's just to the KOLM airport. And then we're going to be vectored over to KTIW. Now, I will say I am going to fly this real world later on with a safety pilot, and I'll be under the hood since it is VFR conditions today. There may be occasions when we get up into the clouds, but for the most part, it's going to be um, all under the hood, or what is referred to as instrument reference flying. So this would be a good opportunity to see what this all looks like before getting into the real-world airplane. All right, let's go ahead and make this go away for now. And then I'm going to switch on COM1. Now, right now, I'm tuned over here. 120.1. Reason for that is, let's go ahead and bring this up, and then we go over here to plates. This is the Narrows 1 departure, and you can see that the Seattle departure controller for the Narrows 1 is 120.1. Now, Tacoma Narrows normally is a, it is a towered class Delta airport, and the tower is in operation at this time, but Pilot Edge does not treat it as a towered airport, so I'm going to have to treat it as a non-towered airport for the purposes of this flight. Normally here we would tune to ground control here at Tacoma Narrows 121.8 and request our clearance from them, but in this case I'm going to have to tune to 120.1, settle the departure control, and get our clearance from them. So let's go ahead and do that now. We are tuned to 120.1. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on COM1, give it a listen before we request our clearance. And I'm ready to copy. I have my keyboard down here. So listening briefly to make sure we don't interfere with any other radio communications. Alaska 27 on Boise clearance, clearly Portland Airport, Boise 3 departure, vector sail, then us filed. Maintain 16,000, departure frequency 100.6, squawk 3245. Gonna wait for that guy to give his read back. Now we're not able to hear the read back because these uh, controllers are operating on multiple different frequencies. So I'm only able to hear the, the piloted controller, but I can't hear the pilot. Alaska right 27 zero back, right? Okay, so he gave his read back, so now I can ask for my clearance. Seattle departure, Cherokee 7428 Romeo IFR to Olympia Regional, ready to copy. Airbus 428 Romeo, clear to the Olympia Airport. Narrows 1 departure. Vectors as filed. Maintain 4000. And squawk 5567. And ready for departure now. Clearance point even off in 2 0 minutes. Okay, clear to Olympia Regional View. The Narrows 1 departure. Then vectors as filed. Maintain 4000. Uh, squawk 5567. And cleared for lease if. Uh, within two zero minutes. Two eight Romeo. Two eight Romeo, read back right. Okay, so he didn't give a... a We're born to go on But we... can look that up. Actually, we're just going to go right back over to one two zero point one. Albuquerque Departure, Skyhawk 201 Tango Hotel with you at 6,500. Okay, I'm going to turn this COM1 off for now. We have 20 minutes. Up for flight again. And what I'm going to take a look at is I'm going to close this plate, then I'm going to go ahead into the uh, KOLM and double check something here. Okay, I'm just going to go over to 120.1. He didn't give it a departure frequency, 120.1, and he'll, if, if that's not correct, that's the one that's on the narrows one departure plate. If that's not correct, then he'll he'll hand us off to the appropriate controller. But for now, we're going to plan on one two zero point one. Okay. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, tower frequency here. 
118.5 and uh, do our calls to local traffic. And then once we're airborne, we're gonna switch over to um, the departure controller. Now this is a uh, the runway sign you see there, 1735. This is actually runway 17, that sign's incorrect. One of these days I'll contact X-Plane and ask him to fix that. Okay, so a couple of different, a couple of uh, checklist items that we have to do here. So let's go ahead and bring up four flight. And yeah, we're gonna switch over here to checklist, couple things. So fuel pump on for takeoff, landing light is on. Fuel pressure verify. Radios and avionics are on and set. So just to point out, we are, right now, the uh, we are tuned to the localizer frequency right here. That's at Olympia. And then we're tuned to, what, and then we're gonna switch over to 113.4, which is the Olympia VOR. That's gonna be our missed approach uh, nav aid. And then we're gonna fly the 176 radio outbound to Cetra intersection. Okay, so we have that set up. And again, right now we're, we're tuned to the CTAP frequency here at Tacoma Narrows, and then we have the departure frequency in standby 120.1. Going to go back over just briefly to plates, bring up Narrows 1. set to the appropriate squawk code, which is 5567. Squawking altitude 5567 is confirmed. iPad verifying connection, connection seen. Four flight route is set and oriented to direction of flight. Lights are set, flaps set neutral for takeoff. Cabin door. Latch tops and bottoms, tops is latched, and bottoms is latched. Window is secure, open here. Fuel selected timer is on and set. Time noted and ready for takeoff. Approaching runway 17, entered runway 17, 4,900 feet remaining.
50, 14, connect. Sound of departure, Cherokee 7428, Romeo, out of 2700, climbing 4000. 7428, Romeo, sound of departure, I got that. Climbing through 5,800 for 10. So that's 54, so I'm going to try to contact. We should have to hop to climb 18, follow. Clear direct, hop to climb 18, level 230, so that's 5014. Air flash 76, Roger. We're just going to reduce power here, level off at 4,000. Number 7 Ford Romeo, proceed direct to Humi, expect the uh, localizer we're going to stop approach. Direct to Humi and, and expect localizer 17 approach. 28 Romeo. Now let's get 2701, 10 left taxi, the Alpha Whiskey. So we'll go ahead and go through our cruise checklist, self fuel pump, off landing light, off. And we're going to lean for best picture right there. Pull power back. And I'm going to proceed direct to the intersection. Seven three five X three November direct clear zone. Number two Romeo on Sumi out of about three thousand clear localizer runway one seven approach. Romeo out of about three thousand clear uh, localizer runway one seven approach to Romeo. So those fifty fourteen are normal speed. Zoom normal speed south to fifty fourteen. Okay, so I'm going to get this sent to three thousand. FedEx 1014 contact, Oakland Center here, 132, 1-0. Oscar 2701, Boise Tower, 1011, to clear for the
Phoenix 1014 up and around. Getting in for reference. Over 201, up and down. Looks like you turn on course on your own. Clear to turn on course yet. Uh, Roger that. Uh, sorry about that. One Tango Hotel. Yeah, there's a region that came that heading. Now you're below a uh, minimum vectoring altitude. So you can uh, contact Alcoa Center 124.32. 124.32, 1 Tango Hotel. Okay, so we just out in the uh, Olympia Tower frequency since that's going to be our next handoff. I am looking for low glass to come alive. They're going to turn to heading 176. The standard rate turns at left at 83,000. Intercept the localizer. Alaska 27. Alaska 2701, Quebec Sky Departure. Big Sky D Park, good afternoon. Last 2701, 5000. One way heading for 16000. Last 2701, Big Sky Departure, Rotary Mind Roger, one navigation direct sail. Sorry, can I get that again for uh, Alaska 2701? Alaska 2701, right, proceed direct sail, Roger, one navigation. Right, direct sail, proceed on navigation, Alaska 2701, thanks. So we're coming right. Over 735, extra November, forward clearance of hazard. Ah, I see one. Over 735, extra November to the Aspen Airport, Rockies for departure. Red table transition, direct. Had to look at uh, the heading box. Maintain 10,000. Instead of 176. That's 6447. East for departure, here. red table trend. Extra November, we back. Alaska 27-1, product. Solid Center, 121.15. Alaska 27-1. Alaska 2701, Hook Center, climbing date, level 340. Southwest 5040, Connect Select Center, 135.77. Okay, so we're 
Southwest 50-14, contact Salt Lake Center 137. Salt Lake Center 135.77 Southwest 50-14, sorry about that. Salt Lake Center 135. So from ECS, I should be to set now down to 2,400. We're almost there. Just coming right inside. Looks like we have to do some wind correction. 0.6 from ECU. Then down to 2,400. So LS 14 so Alexander, continue to call 360. Alright, 201, talent and approach request. Down with all make figure across the nine hundred thousand clear the ILS right. Okay, we're gonna listen down to Aegis Olympia. It is information Julian. One eight five four Zulu. Wind two Number one two zero and visibility one, 2, 4. 4. one zero. Three thousand sc Oda one two four point four. Two eight from you. Olympia Tower, Cherokee seven four two eight Romeo inbound localizer runway one seven approach. Or seven four two eight Romeo Lemon two two zero nine runway one seven clear line. Third lane runway one seven, Cherokee two eight Romeo. We have seven out of Denver Center, Squawk 342. But uh, um, again, I, I let that get away from me there. I'm just staying into that. Just done. Okay, 2.2 from Oakview. And then we're going to descend down to our minimum descent altitude from Oakview. Right, there's 2,400. Come right a little bit.
heading down down to 680. Now again, glide slope, we're on it. We're on glide slope right now, but we're not beholden to it as long as we stay above our minimum descent altitude. Next time, 14 to 7, get into 2 arrival, all clear on to the 3025. X1014 to 7802 arrival, altimeter 3025. Yeah, we're going to 201 to tell report I have on this frequency, we're just going to disturb frequency change probe. So the thing I'm going to need to remember is that when I reach my missed approach point, at the uh, OLM zero point. So it's not what time I for received and it's squad here. To remember to switch then over here to the Olympia VOR because that's going to be my navigational guidance for the missed approach. It was slightly above the glide slope, not too worried about it. But I am going to increase my rate of descent. American 1980 descent of pounds discretion, one six thousand shafts now to return to the Morning. Terrain ahead. That's a four flight terrain morning. What four flight does is it looks at your rate of descent and then it looks at the terrain that's ahead of you and it's just going to tell you that look if you continue that rate of descent you're going to be alert. Terrain ahead. You're going to collide with terrain. And the drone specifically by the we know we're flying within the parameters of the published procedure, so that we're going to be, so we know we're going to be safe. Coming left. Alert. Terrain ahead. Or seven three five extra number climbing ground only one seven right taxi begin my very far transponder one C. Okay, hold that right there. Hold one C taxi one right here. Mike four seven three five extra. Three mile final runway one seven.
1976. Seven four three around Roger. Over two around American Eagle. Departure one two one point one. Departure Cherokee 74 to a Romeo out of 2800 climbing 5500. Number 74 to a Romeo, set up Cherokee sure. with the same intentions. Cherokee 2 and Romeo would like to uh, execute the public mist to the hold. So you can extend lower once the gun uh, below you descends lower. And at five centuries, you can go lower once the guy below you starts descending. And I'm trying to intercept this this radio. And at five centuries, I try to. Five seventy six maintain one six thousand Jackson Ultimate two nine eight four. Yeah, at a five seventy six present heading contact uh Salt Lake Center one three three point two five. Identify the fix for the whole one of them, which is the inter 735 X November March frequencies, follows of the departure procedure, and runway one part there. The intersection of the Hoquiam VOR and the Olympia VOR. In this case, uh, there's that wind correction. It's definitely pushing us from the right. American 1982 Retro for heading contact, uh, select Center 133.25. Right it's desired course. And there you see Cetra. So 
we're just gonna hold that. Look at the CDI. Okay, cruise checklist is complete, and now we're just gonna do the hold. So when we reach Cetra, which is gonna be defined right here, we're 7.7 .7 from Cetra right now. We're gonna do a parallel entry, so we're gonna time it for one minute on the outbound, and then execute a um, left turn to stay within the protected side of the hold. Intercept the 176 radial inbound. We're going to have to use like center and stick that as you're the runway one at our approach. And then upon reaching the fix, then we're going to do our holding pattern with right turns. And we'll see what effect the wind has on our hold. Yeah, Air Flight 76, okay. Uh, center, expect the Alazula running 118, 14,000. This is an 118, 14,000. American 1982, this is an 14,000. Visibility 10. 3,000 scattered, ceiling 9 or 1,000 broken, temperature 7, dew point 3, altimeter 3024, arriving and departing runway 17, visual approaches in use. Seven zero one contact Seattle Center one three five point one five Southwest fifty fourteen contact LA Center one two four point six two. That's going to be our inbound heading to the fix. It's like we're in natural climbs now. And I do have it set for real world. You know, 576, turn off tank zero. To verify the sending. Yeah, showing you stopped off at level 220. 2.6 to 7. 5x November, connect departure. American 1982, proceed right American 1982, to direct the NOR. American 1982, you didn't switch from Skynet, Salt Lake Center 133.25 and proceed direct the NOR. Delta November Whiskey. Never depart from Southern, Diamond 735, next week in November, 7,600, 10,000. Center 35, exit November, center at uh, Crash of Denver, departure, I got that. One go, center. Winning. 357 on top of a Roger. United 576, which is right north across the R14000, Third Island, Zulu 1 Enterprise. Right. Airbus 14. 
Seattle approach, Cherokee 74, two Air Romeo, Centra, 5500, one two minutes after the hour. Air Romeo, Roger, Alex, Remember, Mercy Red Connor, and Region Rockies, Fort March. Say again for two Air Romeo. Navigation on the Fort March. Okay, so we're timing our outbound. I don't know if that radio traffic was for us or someone else, but I asked him to repeat it again, so I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and stay in the hall. I think we're about 50 seconds. So we're going to switch this now over to 356 degrees. Ten fourteen connect approach one three five point one. It's thirty five one. Five extra November climb in one six thousand. Climb in day one six thousand. Five extra November. Alpha X ten fourteen. He's out of ten eight. X ten fourteen heavy. He normal approach ILS rocky three zero. X ten fourteen. Hotel Public Service Terminate Squad via Fog Creek Exchange Group. Alaska 27th one descent right. via uh, the that wind is definitely pushing us from the right. Who would for arrival in Portland Altimeter 3030? I'm going to anticipate that same thing to happen on the real world flight later because they do have this set for real world weather. It's going to hold right there, 190. That's 35 seconds.
having to fly a significant wind correction angle to intercept that radial inbound. Make that correction in your turn. You're holding a standard rate turn. Make the correction up after you roll out. Six car one eight point zero seven. Upper outbound course. Roll out right there. Hold that. And timing. United five seventy six check tower to one hundred clear line. Reduce it to two one zero.
Seattle approach, Cherokee 7428, route me a request. Cherokee 7428, run me a request vectors for the ILS runway 17 approach to Coma Narrows. There's 7428, Romeo. I just I'll say again, please, for 28, Romeo. Two runway safe destination. Uh, Kilo Tango India Whiskey, we'd like to shoot the ILS runway 17 approach. I'm continuing in the hold until we get instructions. American 1982 loss comes there. Um, are you on the uh, ILS for only one? American 1980, Roger, cleared ILS Zulu from my one approach and uh, final approach fix contact Jackson Tower 118.05, correction 075. Fix so look like it'll be uh, music. Yeah, you know, 576 taxi to terminal via Alpha. Have a one for us here. Number 742 Romeo, you are clear to Tacoma Narrows Airport to be a radar vectors direct. Maintain 5000. Uh, turn right heading 360 vector approach. Clear Tacoma Narrows. Descend and maintain 5000. Uh, turn heading 3. Sing and heading for 2A Romeo, please. There are 2A Romeo heading 360. 360 for 2A Romeo. FedEx 1014 have be turn right heading zero. Okay, so we're coming out of the hold, then we'll we'll bring up four flight in our plates and all that stuff once we're established. FedEx 1014 heavy, North Cal approach. Altitude. Yeah, how do you read? I got heading two zero for FedEx 1014 heavy. FedEx 1014 heavy is correct. Still have a problem with my audio. Roger. Hold okay. out on heading 360. American 1982, Tech Tower, 118, I'm sorry, 1. 18 percent. 18 points. American 1982 Jackson Tower in 18013, runway 8193, Clitoran. FedEx 1014, have your 8 now, 8 miles from Franny, turn right, heading 270. Maintain 4, they'll establish low glider, cleared ILS, runway 30 approach. Heading 270. For four till established, current for the ILS 30 FedEx 1014 heavy. Here to Romeo, con Seattle approach 120.4. Over to 120.4, 2A Romeo. American 1982, Roger, contact Salt Lake Center 133.25.
channel approach Cherokee 742 at Romeo 5000. 742 Romeo Seattle approach Olympia altimeter 304. Six four six nine Romeo, Missoula ground, uh, a little broken. Volume's good. So flying vectors on UV three six zero. She'll probably vector us left here, parallel the inbound course at some point. But for now, we're going to go ahead and tune our localizer frequency, which is going to be. American 1982 Seattle Correction, Salt Lake Center, radar contact, Excuse to purchase, published, and say intentions. I'm going to go to plate view here. 109.1. American 1982 router, uh, leaving 12,000, turn left heading 040 vector for Denor. Expect Isla Sulu from my one under approach. Yes, sir. American 1985, I maintain 4,000. That was a weather switch over in x -plane. Again, as I said earlier, that sometimes causes these violent lurches. Okay, Alaska 2701, Seattle Center 121.4. Trimming. Rudder. Alaska 2701, Seattle Center, Portland, altimeter 3030. Uh, expect east transition. Just to confirm, you're looking at the ILS, correct? ILS 17 and 2 8 Romeo. I just confirm your monitors, you're not, not taking the full approach. Uh, negative or request vectors, please, 2 8 Romeo. Uh, Dart 2 8 Romeo, Roger, expect vectors, ILS Romeo 17 approach. Expect vectors for the ILS Romeo 17 2 8 Romeo. Had contact at Oakland Tower, um, 27.2. 72 at X10. Heavy Glen Tower, wind uh, two one zero at five runway three zero quarter land.
Three six four six nine Mosula Ground Runway One Taxi via Alpha Cross Runway Eight at Alpha. So you can see our ground speed at 134, indicated is about 120, that's in miles per hour. So for, for two, Romeo, 10 degrees left. 10 degrees left for 2 Romeo. Five X ray number contact Denver Center 120.47. Oh, we would do that if we had a, a second VOR. I'm worried about it right now. So we can't. So I'm just going to use four flights and find that. FedEx 10 Fort and Heavy. Taxi to terminal via uh, Whiskey 4, Victor, and uh, New Bravo, and it'll be a little ride of your choice to the gate. Remain this frequency and have a wonderful rest of your day. Seven three five X ray November Denver Center equal altimeter nine nine or seven. See some of the walkiness in my localizer approach here. And it's easy to get distracted. Need to clear track Denor, cross Denor at 13,000. Cleared Isla Zulu Railway, one nine approach. Alaska 2701, attack Portland approach 124.35.
Point approach, good afternoon. Alaska 2701. Action Kilo 15700. Sending on the hood for. Alaska 270, Portland Approach, Portland Altimeter 3030. Information, Lima is now current, and uh, it is now switched to the airport around, so you can expect west transition. Uh, visual approaches are in use, approach runway 28 left. Alright, we'll go ahead and uh, grab Lima, and we'll switch things around here in the FF, so you will uh, expect a uh, visual to left. Thanks, Alaska 2701. Six Santa Romeo was a tower. Uh, looks like you're at Alpha 5. Um, Los ATC gives you an intersection. You want to continue to the very end of the runway. Uh, but, but that could also be scenery uh, discrepancy. Of course, approved runway 1 2 clear for takeoff when bullet 3. Established localizer contact Jackson Tower 118.07. Two Ford Denver Center. Good afternoon. Sometimes tower over there will have to report at the uh, initial approach fix set intersection. And as I mentioned, uh, the pilot edge treats this as a non-towered airport, so that won't be happening. American 4214, after O-Ray, change to peak 3 arrival. Alaska 27 one constant point Portland approach 126.9er. 126.9er, let's go 2701. So these guys you're hearing on there are using pilot edge for commercial flight training purposes. Port approach, good afternoon. Alaska 2701, information Lima, uh, direct uh, ready, expecting Alice to wait left. Alaska 
Alaska 2701, Portland approach. Thank you. At read, ready, cleared ILS runway to the left for. Ready, cleared ILS to the uh, sorry, to a left approach, Alaska 2701. Thing. Okay, so I think we're ahead of the airplane right now. Again, we have said intersection that's going to be defined using our GPS. We have uh, the sea temp frequency in standby. We have the appropriate approach plane superimposed with our IFR low altitude chart on for flight. We've briefed the plate. The missed approach is going to be climbed to 1,500 on runway heading that you see here. Right turn heading 290 to 2,000. Then via the SeaTac 227 radial back to the set intersection and hold. This would be the hold, right? But we are going to fly this down to a full stop. So in the real world plane, uh, at this point we don't have the SeaTac VOR tuned in 116.8. And then that would be. There's 735 X ray November contact, Aspen approach 123.8. Five eight November, Aspen approach, Aspen altimeter, two nine or nine or three. I advise you have uh, Juliet and say approach request. We'll call that American 1982 still with Salt Lake Center. I'm going to go ahead and declutter some of that earlier annotation. Well, actually, no, we'd love to have it because we use it. American 1982 Jackson Tower, 118012, runway 1 under Clitter Lamp. Alaska 27 one in contact, Portland Tower, 123.77. 2377, Alaska 27 one see it. One Portland Tower, runway 28 left, Clitter Land, wind 2607. Looks like the winds have changed, our tailwind has, has reduced. Looks like we're close to flying our, our indicated airspeed on the ground. So we should be getting vectored somewhere over here, back into the final approach course of 167 degrees. Narcolib at Skyhawk 3755 five, five, ten ten minutes. Minutes. request. There are three seven five five and Calip Bridge back. Five five about eleven to the northeast of Sac International request a transition of the airspace yeah. en route to uh, uh, Yolo County. 755 Lima Squawk 1664 Ida. 
And uh, if you could give me the identifier for your uh, yellow cap. 1664 and I'll ID on 172 Slant Golf. And the destination identifier? Delta Whiskey Alpha. And can you go with the squawk one more time? Five five Lima one six six four. There five five Lima our contact uh, nine hundred miles. Clellan, uh, VOR, and uh, Capital Altimeter, 3020. 3020, five Lima, thanks. American 82, tax terminal via Alpha, and Monogram, have a wonderful day. Wind flight and variable, visibility more than 10. Sky condition 2200 broken, 10,000 broken, temperature 7, dew point 2. Altimeter 3021. Arriving runway 17. Just a slight change there. 3021. On the altimeter. Heading zero four zero to eight Romeo. Or to Romeo to send main three thousand. To send main three thousand to eight Romeo. Good 27 zero. Uh, taxi to terminal via Bravo 3 and Tango to terminal. Have a wonderful rest of your pleasure. Actually, never turn 10 degrees right. 10 degrees right, but right now.
should see Glide Slope come in here pretty soon. Two at Romeo, turn right, heading one four zero. Turn Romeo one seven Delta. Right turn one four zero. I missed the last part of that. Uh, two at Romeo. And our two at Romeo, join the localizer. Confirm descending three thousand. Join the localizer, descending three thousand. Two at Romeo. I should have asked her. Her Romeo, you are uh, five and a half miles from Sen. Maintain 2,000 till established localizer. Cleared ILS runway 17 approach. Maintain 2,000 till established cleared ILS runway 17 approach. Three, Romeo. Turn right heading 270 to maintain 14,000. Roll out right there. Looking for that localizer. Right turning zero, maintain. Turning right. Starting to 10,000 for 5x ray. 5x ray number 14,000. 14,000. Right there. Pretty good rate of descent. I'm sorry. We know where the low glide slope is, so there's no super hurry to get down to 2,000. There's five X-ray November, no problem, we're heading uh, 270. We're a little bit of a correction, as we anticipated, we're getting a little bit of push from the right, so we're going to come right a little bit. There's 3,000, 2,900. We're going to hold the heading of 180 for now. Let's see what that does for us. So the thing I missed back there was I thought she gave an instruction for 4,000. It was actually 3,000. What I should have done is asked her to repeat. But it was a question in my mind. And it makes sense to ask for the controller to repeat the instruction rather than guess. Next, we never turn left, direct red table, cross red table at 13,700 or above, cleared RNAV, Foxtrot, approach, expect runway 15. We're going to level off here. Direct. Right. Uh, and hold the heading. Quickly on it. Foxtrot, check the GQ for recess. Two eight Romeo, uh, no traffic is there between you and Tacoma uh, Narrows Airport. Broadcast station and Mr. Bridge Airport in this frequency. You're on the ground. One two two point two. Change device frequency approved. Change to advisory approved for two eight Romeo. And we'll cancel on the ground at one one two two point two. Okay, so we're looking for glide slope now. Looks like a heading up. 
175 is keeping us on the localizer. So we're going to hold that and we're going to set up for our approach. Move up on, lay the light on. Make sure set to full rich. NorCal approach 3755 Lima, the airport side on the start of the VFR descent. Near 55 Lima, Roger, radar services terminate a squawk V for frequency G approved. Squawking V, thank you, good evening. Rain ahead. Mile final runway one seven. Tacoma Air Traffic Church Sim for Tour Romeo is two miles inbound. ILS runway one seven approach to Coma Traffic. Yeah, it's one push us. Let me try it again, one seven five. The right. Five hundred. Area traffic, Turkey set for two is clear of the runway to come traffic. 
switch over to 122.2. Center Cherokee 7428 Romeo, cancel IFR please. Your 7428 Romeo, IFR cancellation is received. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, good day. 28 Romeo. So again, uh, IFR Tacoma Narrows to Olympia, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our flight. So here's our takeoff. This is the Narrows One departure, which calls for a climbing to 1,500, then climbing right turn on hitting 250. We were cleared to our filed altitude of 4,000 feet. So after we made our turn, we continued to climb to 4,000, contacted departure. We were cleared then direct to Humi intersection. We flew to the Humi intersection, and then we were cleared to intercept the localizer, and uh, we were cleared for the localizer runway 17 approach at Olympia, and that's us flying that approach on the localizer, which is on a heading of 176. And uh, then we deviated here a couple of times. Um, I caught it in time and uh, made the correction. Um, I think we're doing a frequency change or doing something with a chart or, or narrating or whatever the case. But that, that was a mistake right there. We corrected. A um, couple of times deviated a little bit. Again, not sure what something was going on there and it got distracted. Um, but uh, generally speaking, we held the localizer fine down to the minimums, which again, let's take a look at the plate. We'll close that one, open this one. Uh, this is it right here. Minimums call for straight in localizer. Runway 17, 680 feet. If we were circling to a different runway on this approach, it would be 720 feet. So we descended to 680. We maintained that altitude to the missed approach point. And then we executed the missed approach as published right here, climbing straight out to 1,400, continuing on the Olympia 176 radial to 5,500 to set your intersection. That's defined right here. So again, uh, this is this is the Cetra intersection. We did a parallel entry, uh, which calls for climbing once reaching the fix, continuing for one minute at, at 5,500, then left turn, intercept the 356 radial on inbound. That's actually the 176 radial on heading 356 inbound. And then um, a standard traffic pattern, which calls for right turns. Let's take a look at how that looked in real world. Um, probably not so pretty. I know the wind was wrecking havoc up there. Okay, so this is it. This is the this is the um, a parallel entry that I referred to. So we're on the 176 radial left turn to reintercept, but that wind was pushing us, pushing us, pushing us. Probably 25 knot wind. So I really never really reintercepted this radial. Um, got to the the Cetra intersection and then initiated the right turn for the hold, which is a standard rate turn to the right to heading 176. Time that for one minute and then inbound again. That wind is pushing, pushing, pushing. 
so we never really got on the radial. Uh, continued on a second and then I think even a third before we got our vectors. So I just stayed in the hold until we got our vectors and clearance to the Tacoma Narrows Airport. And there it was. I think it was a heading of 360 here. And we continued on that heading to, let's go ahead and bring up the KTIW um, show plate. Let's do the ILS 17. Okay, so we got that right there. All right. So then. Um, then again, uh, heading of 360, and then I think she gave us, well, let's see, yeah, 360 and then 10 degrees left, so 350 basically paralleling the inbound course. Then we're vectored to 040, and I, and I thought she uh, cleared us to descend 4,000, it's actually 3,000, that's why she asked right about here uh, that to confirm that we're descending 3,000, which we weren't, and then I uh, began my descent to 3,000. We were cleared to... Um, uh, for the uh, ILS 17 approach, and, and then we were given instructions to descend to 2000 and, uh, until established, and then uh, we were given the switch over to advisory frequency somewhere in here, and then on the ground and canceled via 122.2 as instructed. So that, that was uh, today's flight. A couple of little things in there that I need to pay closer attention to, a couple of deviations on altitude, but uh, all, all things considered, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And again, I'm going to do this in uh, another couple of hours in the real world airplane. And we'll see how that goes. So thanks for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.